Question 14 then from paper 2 of the 2021 Higher Maths, the resource paper. Part B this time, the circles and logs. It's the first of them, circles, and it's an easy one. It's four marks, get the equation of the tangent to the circle. What's the equation to the tangent of this circle? There it's, there's its equation. At the point, the tangent to the point is 3, 5. Well, it's just a line. To get the equation of a line, you need a point on it. Well, I've got that, and it's gradient. Well, you get its gradient by the fact that the tangent is always perpendicular to the radius at that point. And for that, I'll, mean, I'll need the coordinates of the centre of the circle. So, what's the coordinates of the centre? You can extract them straight from this equation, because that equation was just the basic squared equation multiplied out. So all that happened here is, because when you multiply out the square of a bracket, you square the first, square the last, in the middle, twice the product, those are the twice the products. So those are just double the coordinates. So the x-coordinate is going to be the 5. Remember, it was opposite signs because it was x minus al squared. It'll be the opposite and half it, so negative 1. That gets a mark. Which means I can now get the gradient of AC. I'll put it down. Didn't need to put this down, but I've started. So, AC. So that's five, so that's slightly further forward. I'll go with that one first. So, negative one, take away five for the difference in the y's, and five, take away three for the difference in the x's. So that's going to be negative six upon two. So that means the gradient of AC, which is the gradient of the radius, that particular radius is negative three. That gets a mark. Now, you've got this tangent. So you could say this, you could just go straight in with it, because I'll say this. The gradient of the tangent, since the gradient of the tangent times that gradient should come to negative 1, that means the gradient of the tangent will be, whatever cancels it all out, so it'll be the opposite sign of the reciprocal, will be a third. That gets a mark. I should put some neat bits in here. So there's been nothing in this so far, has there? There's three very, in fact, the fourth, fourth mark's going to be very simple as well, isn't it? So now you can come in actually with the tangent t itself. So y minus b is mx minus a, using, make sure you use the correct point. So that's the point 3, 5. And of course, the gradient you're going to be using is one third. So y minus the 5 is one third of x minus the x, which is the 3. Or 3y, take the 3 across and multiply, 3y minus 15, and that's just once, they just stay the same. It's going to be x minus 3, and then whatever you like. Usually just bump it down. If it's not going to play nice, just leave the coefficient in front of y. So 3y equals x, bring that across as a plus 15, so it makes it plus 12. There we are.